there another one? Hey, hey, hey now. Where's the kick button? I saw that you can kick in this too. There you go. That's my kick. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are going to be playing Resident Evil 4. This game is... Resident Evil was my very first horror game that I played, so it only feels right to go back and experience again the misery that I did in the remake. So let's get started. Okay, so it's a, a seance. Now, honestly, I can't remember most of the story. It's been so long since I've played. So I can't say if this is a one for one comparison to the original. But I do remember, if I think correctly, that's that's Ashley. And we've got to pretty much protect her the entire way through. Maybe that's not Ashley, because she definitely just died. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. I'm liking the music. I don't remember that for the first game, but... A little bit of a salsa dance. So tell me, Yankee. Why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. Just another I mean, day I on the job. For some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> So, so far it checks out. This is it. I remember being lost in the woods when we first started out. Nature calls, huh? <clears throat> I'll be right back. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? You smoke? Up. Hey. Caught Can't quite literally with his pants down. So it starts. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maybe you better go and take a look. All right, I'll go take a look. Don't drive off without me. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. 
So much for helping me. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're into. Oh my. Yeah. So I'm debating whether to use keyboard and mouse or controller. Part of me feels like the old school controller would be the best option, but we'll we'll wing it. We'll go with keyboard and mouse. See how I feel for a little bit. I'm assuming no crouch isn't C. Is there no crouch button? These are things I need to know before I go into this game unwilling, unknowingly. There we go. I found the cr It's on E? That's so weird. Crouch. Alright, so we're gonna crouch and go through here. Oh, it's just a bird. Okay. Anybody home? I'm looking for my uh, my partner in crime or partner in justice because we are police officers. He uh, anyone home? He stepped out to to take a leak. Let's see what's around this corner first. Nothing. Hello? You guys should really keep clean up in here. It's a mess. Can never tell if the doors are closing just because that's how the game is designed or if someone's stalking me. Probably both. Okay, so we got a steak. Bread charm. Judgment is nigh. Who's the Sarah El... I can't actually read that, though I do believe it's in Spanish. So one fun story about this game, back when it, you know, maybe not so much when it first came out. When I first played it years ago, there was a scene where you would be going through town and, you know, the locals would see you and they would yell out, Un forastero! And in Spanish, that means the stranger. Now, I was in Spanish class, learning Spanish, learning to speak it and everything. It was my major in, in university. And one thing that happened in class is we started reading this short story called El Forastero. And while we're in class, I'm just looking at the word. I'm thinking, why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound so familiar, eerily familiar, you know? And it hits me in the back of my head. I just hear, El Forastero! It sent a chill down my spine in the middle of Spanish class. I broke out in a cold sweat. So we need a lock or we need a key for this lock. I imagine we'll find a flashlight at some point. Oh, looks like we found a place. We found a cutscene. This is where it starts. It's too late to switch to controller now. No, you're just chilling. You're not gonna. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. You're not gonna attack. He's uh, he's lost in thought, in a trance. You know a key? Hmm. Oh, yep, they got him. Are you okay? This is not good. Okay, so this is a key that something I need. All right, cool. The Hunter's Lodge key. It's probably for that other door, but we'll uh, we'll search here a little bit more first. Officer's badge, National Police Corps, Mario Fernandez Castaño. All right. You know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna switch over to controller and see how this feels. Something just tells me that, that this is gonna feel a lot better on controller. See, I've already found the attack button and everything. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with controller for now. Before we move on, is there anything else in here that we need to to check? 
So we found the badge, we found the key. There's the gun. More guts, but no glory. Did I? I guess I did come through. Oh yeah, because I, I came through that way. If someone were behind me right then. Still got the old school graphics. You love to see it. Oh my gosh. I know when the action actually starts, I'm not going to be able to keep up. I can feel it. Hardcore mode was a mistake. <laughs> and honestly, they did way too good of a job with the design on this game. It's a lot of meat just out and rotting. It's not good for you. You need a better way of preserving that. Okay. Hey. Oh, there he is. He's fine. See, never been better. I read you. What's your situation? So is he, he's just being a little bit dramatic. There's nothing to be scared of here. Can I take the talkie? No? Okay. Can't call for backup. I mean, I guess the backup just got eaten, but you know. Can I pray? Because that Bible might be pretty handy. Hello? I am the police. Oh. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's gonna make me open the inventory. All right, restoring health. You can restore health using herbs or a first aid spray. The effects of herbs can be enhanced by combining them with other herbs. Red herbs increase the amount of health recovered while yellow herbs increase your maximum health. All right, solid. So I guess, you know, casually in the middle of combat, we'll just do this. This just keeps getting worse. Hopefully there's no need to double tap. Can I? I'll just, just in case. Nah, yeah, okay. I don't know who you're looking for, but he's not here. Okay, so that's where they got the key the first. All right, so we gotta go back outside. Can I can I shoot him from over here? Whoop! Oh yeah, he's coming. He's on his way. From which way though? Oh! You're a little bit too fast there, sir. Need you to slow down. Is there another one? Hey, hey, hey now. Where's the kick button? I saw that you can kick in this too. There you go. That's my kick. So, uh, any reason we put the flashlight away? It's okay. So this one's locked. I know one thing for sure. I'm definitely gonna have to get a lot better with aiming in this. 
because aiming is very essential to this game given that it's very ammo dependent and hopefully I don't accidentally shoot the merchant like I did years ago <laughs> over here stranger I don't know that we're safe up here. I don't know that locking that door really means anything. Alright, so we found something. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... <laughs> gotta go. Talk later. We gotta go. Talk later. Just casual. <laughs> Don't mind me, you know, undead or just, you know, breaking phone. down the door. <laughs> With an axe. Oh, gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> Just don't even care about it. You know, just the locals. Just goofing. Bridge. Is it gonna collapse on us or anything? No. Hey now. I can hear you. And I can't see you. Yeah, let's make noise. That's a that's a great idea. Let's make unexpected noise. But we did get some handgun ammo, so I'll try to preserve it as much as I can and just rely on melee if I if possible. Hello? It's a typewriter. So it looks like this is our first save. Awesome. Just like I remember. Alright. So saving and item storage. You can save your progress at any typewriter. You can also swap out weapons in your inventory via the storage menu. Cool. This is a um, this is a small introduction to it. The game's definitely gonna get a lot harder from here. It will be a lot more interesting too. I was just kind of taking it slow, getting a feel for it, getting a feel for the controls. It's been years since I've played a Resident Evil game, but like I said, this was a game that I played a while ago, my very first horror game, and I figured, let's see what the remake is about, and if it will scare me all the same, it probably will. But if this video made you smile, laugh, or chortle, or chortle at the word chortle, then please leave a like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more where that came from. Thank you and goodbye. Jack the Ripper, Mr. Big Dripper, red trench coat with the penny loaf slippers, all leather right down to the knickers, top hat with the feather dust, pen frill, diamond on his wrist, make the pimp pay.